What's happening, y'all? How you doing? Well, got a little bit of a sunny day here today. You know, I want everybody to really pay attention to what's happening. Now, this is urgent. Urgent. Very, very urgent. But everybody understand, there are a lot of people coming to this country that Biden and his administration are letting in that do not like our customs. There are people that are coming here from all different kinds. They found Chinese, uh, Afghanistan, uh, Turkish, uh, everywhere from South America, all over the place, okay? There are literally people coming into this country that their beliefs are way, way different than ours. Like the Muslim faith in Afghanistan and things like that. Just ask O'Katie Couric because she was sitting doing an interview with a guy one time and he was an Afghani. And then she said something to him or what just kind of questioned his authority. And then he looked back at her and he says, yeah, well, and he's talking in his tongue and then they kind of put the closed caption underneath it. And he was talking, he said, yeah, I should give you to a real Afghani man to where he'll cut your nose off. Okay. The Muslims coming here, they don't like gays. They throw them off of the tallest buildings they can find. Okay. And if they live they do it again. God's honest truth. A lot of people coming here to where they don't like our our freedoms, don't think that we should be able to speak as freely as we do. There are a lot of things that are happening in the backgrounds and the, the scenes behind the everything that people are coming here and they will literally do what they can to change this country. Everyone needs to realize that. This is very, very urgent. Like I said on that last one, this is everybody's fight. Make no mistake about it. Now we're hearing about the sat phones and there's a lot of talk. There's more talk that I'm hearing on from the people that I listen to that are talking more about the power grid, EMPs, and all that other kind of thing. Okay, so you have to imagine if you didn't have any power in your house or anything, what would you do? How would you act? What would you need? You know, would you get by? Well, you know, because when things like that go down, how many thousands and thousands of people that are going to come out of the woodworks to hit that store first? Any of them. All of them. You understand? A lot of people out there like that five-finger discount, too. <clears throat> That's one of the biggest problems that a lot of these uh, companies are having now because of the, uh, the theft problems. So, I'm just putting out a little bit of word what I'm hearing, okay? And it is not good. The closer we get, like I said, the closer we get, the worse it's going to get. I hate to sound like a broken freaking record, but everybody really has to pay attention because... We have a lot of demon people that would rather see us all fry than let us succeed, than them just give up and go away. They're not going to do that. They're godless demons. They're people that don't believe in God. They think that, oh, you want to believe in God, your, your uh, imaginary friend, you know, all that kind of stuff. You know, they don't believe, they don't know, they don't think that way or what, they don't care, period. I mean, they literally will, you know, stab you in the back before they'll actually be truthful to you. So, little bit by little bit, it's getting worse, y'all, and the people around, yeah, everybody's calm, cool, and collected right now, but like I said, let all the power and everything go off, it's gonna go to going to go to hell in a handbasket pretty quick. So, I want to tell y'all, just keep your head on a swivel. If you hear anything, holler back, let me know, because I'm trying to find out everything I can. There are generals, just look it up, Google about uh, uh, 
higher ups in the military and you know a power grid and EMP just look it up I mean there's a ton of information out there just educate yourself on it okay and what it is is a big O and the EMP is electromagnetic pulse that comes from like a nuclear weapon but they also have high altitude EMP weapons to where they don't destroy but they'll knock out power grids and fry electronics see what I mean one thing that I've been telling people you don't have to destroy a city and everything for the our country for the country to go down because the people it's are so used to the power being around and having their phones and all this other kind of stuff what would they do if they didn't have that they would go they'll go nuts well that's what we're looking for man that's what we're out to you know that's what we got right in, you know out in front of us but everybody start thinking now start thinking now man don't wait okay i've got some other things i want to try to put one out a little bit later on too i've got some other stuff and like i said i've got a lot of more information that i've been gathering to show y'all okay so i'll be back y'all take it easy later